In our previous video about how we keep ourselves and our van safe and secure, which you can click up here to see if you've not seen it already, we talked about deadlocks. Now we know that any anti-theft device isn't going to fully protect your van. However, we also know that multi-layer security, where any little bit makes it that little bit harder to steal, is also a big deterrent. Keep watching and we'll share why we chose this Malenko deadlock and some tips for how to fit it. Don't miss any of our regular videos by hitting that subscribe button now. You can also check out our website at explorevan.uk for more details on our vans, trips and all the products we talk about. We've had this deadlock on the rear doors of our van for some time and we wanted to add one to our side door and passenger door. As the sliding door and passenger door butt up to each other, we wanted to be able to use the same lock to secure them both. But were we to use the same lock as on the rear doors, the bracket design would mean we would have to open one door to be able to open the other. So the solution we found was this lock from Milenko. Having separate brackets mounted to the van for each side that doesn't overlap the join means we can open either door and then the lock secures both doors when we want to. The lock comes with some pretty basic instructions. One really important thing is not to pre-assemble the lock to test it, as it's designed that once put together, it's extremely difficult to take apart. It's really important that the two surfaces you're mounting the brackets to are at the same level. If they're different, it will be hard or even impossible to slide the locking bar to join the two sides of the lock. Once you've decided where you're going to position the lock, the kit comes with a self-adhesive template that lets you easily mark the hole positions. Using a centre punch to mark each hole helps stop the drill from slipping. For each hole, Malenko suggests a 5mm pilot hole, but then they use these self-tapping screws to mount the brackets. This enables the brackets to be fitted without access to the back of the panel, but it wouldn't take much to pull these out. So, as I can pretty easily access the back of the panel, I want to replace the self-tappers with nuts, bolts and a large washer to make them even more secure. Using a good quality and sharp drill bit, it's quite easy to drill through the panel. I then treated each drill hole with a suitable anti-rust metal paint. I'm not going to show the exact way I mounted and reinforced the locks for security reasons, but once the brackets are mounted either with the self-tappers or bolts and plates and the screw covers covered with the provided plugs, you can slide the locking bar on. Sliding the bar over to join the two mounts and simply pushing the lock is all that's needed to secure both doors. And a simple twist of the key lets you slide the bar back to unlock. If you've not already seen our previous video on all of our recommendations for van safety and security, then you can click here. Coming soon in our videos, we'll talk about adding extra travelling seats to your van and GPS dog trackers. Thanks for watching our video, and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share, and consider subscribing.